And welcome back to the Spinner Rack, presented by Comics Remixed, episode 58. As always, I'm your host, Big B. Brian, and I'm joining my co-host, Junior Lee. And our special guest this week... This is Carrie. How you doing, guys? Carrie, the former camera guy. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. That's what I was going to introduce him yeah. to. Yeah. So, Carrie, welcome back. Hey, the artist, the, it's the artist formerly, yeah, formerly known, known as <laughs> Carrie, the camera guy. <laughs> So it's been a uh, it's been a long while since you've been on the show. A long yes, while. Yes, it has. Um, but uh, this episode is pretty much centered for you. Oh, okay. What's you up? um you pretty much lived the dream for us <laughs> about a week and a half back now. Uh, you went out to San Diego Comic Con. Yes, I did. You know, obviously, I've never been. Brian's never been. A lot of us have never been. So, like I said, you probably we, we, never go. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, we had to live vicariously through you. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> How do you think I feel about it? But you were there. So, I mean, there's, you know, for our seven listeners, there are, like, as, obviously aspirations and dreams for every nerd to it's, go to San Diego at one point seven in their now? life. It's on the bucket, bucket list. What was it, nine? It's seven now? What was it, nine? I thought it was five. You lost. You lost. I don't know, dude. We got you a few more. Listeners? John Bixby, remember? Okay. So we're, I added, we're, I added we're, one. We're gaining You're popularity. Gaining. Yeah, we're getting there. Um, so anyways, no, but we had we, we got to live through you, so to speak. Because it's on because, the bucket list? Yeah, it's, it's, it's on every comic fan's bucket list, at least, I would believe, to go to San Diego at least once in their life. Okay. Um, You know... Being as someone who's never been, but I've been to a multitude of conventions. First, my first question to you is: How would you? How does it differ in the terms? Excuse me, of atmosphere between Wizard and uh, C two E two. Oh, you can't you can't you can't compare anything to Wizard nowadays. Wizard Wizard is nothing more than a money grab, as you guys well know. I mean, it, um, well, is in San Diego. San Diego is a different type of money grab. I mean, make no no <laughs> question about it. It it, it, it is definitely. If you take away the exclusives of San Diego, I would love to see what happens. I would love to see if half the people that go there still go there. If you take away the exclusives, mm-hmm. um, that's a good. I never thought about. Yeah, it that way. I mean, it's, it's because keep in mind, guys. I mean, I think Junior knows. I don't know if Brian did. I went before it became the monstrosity that it was. I've gone 15 years prior to this, mm-hmm. when you could actually go see whatever you wanted. Before it became the Hollywood mega event, you know what? It, it didn't even so much become that. What I, my impression, and I, I've talked to a buddy of mine who goes every year, who's in the in the uh, entertainment business, and just from talking to him, and and I saw it when I was there, is it has become well, one the money grab, you know, the the every, it's become something more for the retailers. You know, it it to buy stuff. It's it's become the place to be. If that makes it's sense. Like the like, cool it's, kids. it's the cool kids club. It's the it's it's the it's the, the it's, club you it's can't the get hipster into. Comic Con. I don't know about hipster because I saw everybody. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I it was so funny. I had a badge. I was fortunate enough a friend of mine took me, and I had a badge for four days. And even before I left, just people around here, not non comic book people, I would mention, oh, I went, you know, I'm going to San Diego. It's like you won a golden ticket. And I guess nowadays it is because yeah. you have to win a raffle. And I'm telling you, have you to what, enter a I'm, member ID yeah, number. That going, member ID number then puts you, and if, even if you get the member ID right. number, then if you get it, they put you into a raffle. Then they might choose your name. And it's, it's just like, Right, man. so it was like you won the lottery. And I was like, oh my God, you're going to San Diego. Yeah, so it is. It's the, the cool kids club now. Um, the thing that I liked about it, and and the reason why I went, so I, I don't want to you know piss anyone's parade, but really the reason why I went, because uh, I had no intention of going, uh, I found out a couple celebrities were signing that I am huge fans of, and will probably never get to see them because they don't sign normally. Um, Flash Gordon was signing, so that Flash, that, that, Flash ah! Gordon was at uh, Kane County Toy Show Gordon. like a year and a half ago. Was he? Yeah, and he's uh, also been at Wizard World. I've never seen him either. He's been so, at Wizard. I would totally... He know. was there the one year, the first year that Mick Foley was there, because it was Mick Foley, Virgil, and then Flash Gordon. <laughs> Virgil. Like I said, yeah. that, that gets me go, you know, to go to a, to a show, because I've never met the man. Um, and also one of my real good friends, who I haven't seen for 15 years, was going down there. So, you know, the planets aligned, which is why I end up, ended up going. Mm-hmm. Um, for anybody planning to do this, first of all, very expensive. Hotels, outrageous. Um, 
Oh yeah, I'm sure they jack well, up yeah, the prices. San Diego well, said it's a tourist again, you know, thing. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, and then it's San Diego yeah, on top of it. It's it is it is everything is hugely priced in terms of the hotels, and you want to get a hotel that's near the convention center because the convention center is massive. The convention center is the amount of the, the walking you're going to do and the size of it is I want to say maybe three times the size of McCormick Place. So if you've ever walked like the hall of C2E2 at McCormick, triple that. It's insane. It is just the amount of space. And that's just floor space filled with vendors, filled with uh, you know, Fox Studios and whatever the newest, greatest toy is going to come out mm-hmm. and everything. And then at the very end of the Batan Death March is a little section of Artist Alley. So in order to just walk the floor, it's going to take you two days. Wow. Um, just to take it all in? Well, to take it in, to, to get to get a layout of the land. Because right. Because you've got one section that's, you know, you have one section that's dealers. You have another section that's more media. And then there's the display stuff, which is blended in, you know, well, DC's display's over here, but this guy's display's over there. Uh, you know, here's the, here's the, the newest toys from, uh, you know, whomever. Um, I think if you guys saw my pictures, you know, some of the new prototypes of mm-hmm. some of these independents. I mean, so it's, it's spaced all over the place. So just to get a lay of the land takes a day. And that's not counting, keeping track of, well, damn, you know, I, I like this booth and I want to get something here you gotta remember where it is mm-hmm. so like any convention but especially yeah, I, I still have trouble with c2e2 and wizard well, finding well, booths like well, wait where's we, that we i develop a you know a system that my dumb <laughs> should have developed uh years ago bring a f-ing pen because when you go and you go what booth is this have a card and you write it down mm-hmm. and now so that's the only way you're going to maneuver um lots of people a lot more planning than your typical con yeah it once again it's a super con is it to me, it wasn't any different than a C2E2 except for the vast size. Now, I've got a question about sure. the tickets. I read that I, you don't get your tickets in advance. You can't buy them through, like, StubHub or secondhand because since your name is printed on the ticket, you have to pick it up at the convention hall. They don't mail them out to you or anything. Correct. I was, yeah, I was just asking, is that correct? How long? Because now you figure, let's 200,000 people are going, and they only get their tickets there. How long is that line just to pick up your ticket? I, I can't answer that because I went through a retailer, so we got our tickets okay. in advance. And um, the, the lines weren't... I, I have to say this. In, in spite of all the people that are there, they've got this down. I mean, this isn't, oh, you know, what do we do? So the lines move relatively quick, getting your tickets. I didn't see anyone, or it didn't appear to me. That anyone was having trouble getting tickets. So you not know, screwing around. It, yeah, it boom. Here's your ticket. Boom. You know, get going, get going, get going. Uh, you know, there's enough windows open. It's not like, hey, we've got only got three windows open. Um, but, Unlike Target with twenty something right. registers but, and three but open. But what you are gonna have, I mean, you are gonna wait in the line. Right. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, even, well, that's anywhere. Even an opening. I mean, there's thousands of people waiting for the doors to open. So, if you don't like crowds, it's not the show for you. <laughs> You're not a people person. Well, well you know, um, Stick that, to that being said, what I found very interesting, um, that I, I the, the, um, the douchebag quotient, you would think with these thousands and thousands and thousands of people, that it would just be a cluster of Everyone there was cool. From the people in the downtown district, which is like right across from one of the, the, um, the gaslight district which is right across from the convention center. So they got things going on there. Cause this is when they make their money, San Diego, this downtown area, this is, you know, the biggest event all year long and they make a ton of money. Yes, I say, so, I heard someone telling me that you could go down to the convention hall when the convention's going on right. and you don't even have to pay to get in because there's so much going on outside. Now that I didn't get. So here's, here was my impression of that. So everyone kept going, oh, there's so much stuff going on, so much stuff going on. So we went. I mean, we went a couple nights after. Now, this was after the convention because I was at the convention. I wasn't going to, you know what, I'm going to wander the streets during convention time. It wasn't no. happening. I went, I went at night. Now, now, this has changed from what I understand. I went with a buddy of mine who goes every year. My buddy Jeff, he goes every year. 
it just seemed like a down a very crowded downtown Chicago. The exception is the Comic Con theme. So mm-hmm. people were all dressed up, and but all the restaurants were crowded. The exception was, oh, they got all this stuff. Well, they, yeah, they have all this stuff if you know where to go and if you have a connection to get into party number one or party number two or party number three. Because if you don't, there really isn't a whole hell lot going on. They have one uh, concert, for example. They had a, a section that's about a giant park, false park size. Well, you got this MTV event going on. Yeah, but Joe Average can't get in. I can't get in unless I knew so-and-so who got me a ticket for so-and-so that gets me in. Uh, oh, there's a party for The Walking Dead. Well, that's not open to the public. Yeah, it's over at this bar at this time, and the guys, you know, Norman Reedus and those guys are going to be there. Yeah, but I don't know anyone connected with The Walking Dead. So I was told in the past they had more, you know, uh, events for just normal people. Mm-hmm. This time they did not have that. This time as I walked along and uh, my buddy was telling me, it just seemed like, you know, it's everyone hanging out, having a good time. It was, it was Mardi Gras in San Diego. Everyone's in costume and hanging out on the streets, and they close the streets off for the most part, and, you know, a bunch of restaurants you can't get in because it's overflowing with people. So if, you're, if, you're try, if, if the, the thought is, you know what, I don't have to go to the convention, I'm going to try and find some of these other events, if they exist, I didn't run across them. They may be out there, so I mean, if someone you know calls up or gets a guy and goes, "Hey, that's not true," that's fine. My experience was we had no idea where they were. The parties that we heard about, you know, we didn't have access to. So we basically, when the when the convention was over, wandered around, and like I said, we had a good time because the thing about this particular event um, that I found interesting compared to a normal con is the vast amount of people and you're part of the tribe. Okay. And everybody is a fan that weekend, from people working at restaurants, to people at the hotels, to people on the street. Everybody was cool. Everybody was into comic books, even if you weren't into comic books. I thought that was really, really neat. You know, normally, you know, like, as you guys know. So the atmosphere was... The atmosphere, right. It was like going to a, like a concert mm-hmm. with thousands and thousands and thousands of people. You know, you just start talking to anybody. Oh, you went to the con. Oh, what did you get? Who did you see? What are you doing? So there really is a um, a culture of uh, inclusion for this particular weekend, which you know, I found that could, I found that um, cool. I, I found that very cool. I don't know if I was. I think I was more surprised by how big and how vast being part of that was. Mm-hmm. I expected a little bit of that. But not, you know, everybody you run into. So I thought that was cool. Um, my impressions of San Diego in general, though, that particular con, is if you've done C2E2 and you've done these other cons, and, and not to piss on people who love San Diego, like I said, I'm glad I got to go. And if it, I don't ever have to go again because for me, it's a giant con. It's, it's, we can have that here. If you if you if C two E two tripled in size, you have San Diego. So it's just like C two E two on steroids. That's exactly it. There is nothing to me that is that terrible. It's like all oh, the celebrities. Celebrities aren't walking. Maybe you'll run into one walking around, mm-hmm. but for the most part, they're not signing things. They're doing these panels, which is in a section in a hall. Right. And if you want to get into majorities like you know these popular panels and all the stuff you're seeing on television, oh, mm-hmm. all these people are having a great time. You have to camp out. I was watching people camped out from a day to two days to get a ticket to get into the hall, and that's assuming that they either A, have enough tickets to pass out, because there's only a limited amount of space, right. so you can wait in line for a day <coughs> or two Man. and get a ticket, or something that someone was telling me was, it's like you get the ticket, then you have to wait in line again to get into the actual venue, and then there's a possibility, someone was telling me that it was a 50-50 shot, that they were giving out random tickets, and then you get up there, and they go yes or no. I'm like, I'd, I'd kill somebody if you had to go through all that. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of bull to me. Well, but, but there's so many people. I mean, unlike where a normal con, you just pay the extra, and then once tickets are gone, they're gone. To like right. have like this weird, right. yeah, no, yeah, that well, seems what, like what really kind of... Once again, yeah. what, what these guys should do is if you want to get into, like, you know, like the randomness of getting into the con, which is but I understand the vastness of why they're doing it. Okay, Superman panel is on this date and this date. Go into a queue. 
and then the people that get tickets, boom, line up at this time, boom, go. Because I saw, for the Star Wars, there were people lined up for two days, camping outside to get into the Star Wars. They did, you guys saw and I saw in 20 minutes afterwards. So if you are going to San Diego for that, to, to go to these panels, expect this. This is, this is the norm, is to wait in line for ungodly amount of time. That just sounds like a boatload of suck to me. Well, but, but once again, it depends. As you guys know, going to a con, what is it you're there for? Yeah. You know, so that for panels, not my thing. So for me, not a big deal. For someone that's like, I want to get into X panel. This is what you you need to prep. I mean, for. yeah, the panels are cool and all that, but that just seems like right. so much. Right. Well, and, and now we'll go we'll yeah. go for example the exclusives. Oh yeah. See now, I love the exclusives, but that also seems like I that's just a that, is a, that is that is that that's a day. Yeah, if, like if how you much want, you wasting you your day to spend and then, get, like one thing. Right. You wait in line, and depending on what's the vet, you can either just wait in a normal line. Or it could be, for example, I think like Hasbro or whatever. You wait in line for a ticket to make sure they have enough. Then you get in line to get your thing. And then that's assuming they brought enough that they have enough for that day. Because once it's gone, it's gone. So you could be waiting in line all of a sudden, you know, like, like a movie or anything else. Oh, sorry, we're all out of this. And you've wasted anywhere from three to six hours of your life to get one particular Yeah, that toy. sucks. Uh, so once again, what are you there for? I was fortunate that the stuff that I wanted, I managed to get mm -hmm. fairly quickly. There must have not been a line for that. Uh, there was either a line for the thing I picked up for you, Junior, or I accidentally may have cut in front of like a bunch of people and right. played dumb and bought it for you. So neither here nor there, yeah, but, but you got it's, it. It's and, here. Yeah. Hey, whatever. <laughs> yeah. So... So That's why I didn't break your balls too much about the Superman Batman pop. Right. Oh no! Because I bet the Funko line was you could just not, terrible. You could not get near it for two days. The Funko, wow, which what I found sick. hilarious, because the day they went on sale at Comic Con, you could go to Hot Topic, you can go to Barnes and yeah. Noble, and they Most were of all that there. Stuff you could buy, and they were fifteen here. bucks. Right, because a lot of yeah, the, dude. Yeah, you're look, looking at he's two got right two there. of them right there. Two oh. on the end of my shelf came. Well, I've got Topic. I've got a couple exclusives from uh, Barnes and Noble when I got back. Yeah, I picked up a couple of those. But I know there was some stuff that uh, was strictly available at San Diego. I mean, I don't care one way or another. Yeah, I mean, there's stuff that is. Right. But a lot of that pop stuff, um, you could Everything get. that was pretty much associated with Toys R Us right. that was exclusive to San Diego will be at the Toys R Us store in the next right, month. So some of it's already trickling down. Like the reaction Jaws. Yes. That's already that at Toys R Us. Look, that looks so cool. That's it's Bloom cool. saw it yesterday. Um, and like, yeah, even though Superman Batman pops, like... When the movie, Funko came out and said, "Yeah, these are pre-release," right? When the movie, when it gets close to the movie, they'll be in mass market. And once but. again, it, it goes back to you know, I, being the first. You yeah. Know? There are some things that I know they weren't going to release. Those are some mm -hmm. things that I got exclusive, and what had to wait in line for two and a half hours for one of them. Is it worth it? What was it? It was the He-Man three and three quarter inch action figures. I don't know if you guys know. Really? Yeah, they were three and three quarter He-Man. Three and he -Man. three quarter He-Man. These were what... Really? what it, these I didn't were, see pictures of those. Yeah, these were the, the designs of what He-Man would have been before they went to the original design. They were originally going to compete with Star Oops. Wars. Nice. So they were doing the three and three quarters. And I actually okay. like the sculpts of them better. I saw them online. I'm like, I need these. Who, uh, what, who a company Super 7. Okay. Who, the worst organization ever. Because, <laughs> okay, here's the adventure. So... First, you have to wait in the Super 7 line to get a magic coin. That's something that they send a you. magic oh, coin? Yeah, it's, it's something it's called Skeletor's Lair. Okay. So here's what they do for Okay, this. I saw the Skeletor's okay. Lair picture. Okay, so it's Skeletor's Lair. You get a, a coin to get admitted to this off-site place that they rented out because for whatever reason, they didn't want to bring the stuff to San Diego in the actual thing. They thought they'd be cool and do all the He-Man stuff off-site. Off-site! So... You're at the con. Oh, I, I had to take a cab because it was hell and gone from the convention center where it was. Was it if if you walked the convention center, this walk afterwards would have been like the Batan f death march because it was like what's the farthest point we could get and still be within the gaslight district? Like just right on the border. Right, there. Right, right. So, so we we finished San Diego. <laughs> take a cab, suck? go there, yeah. and then there's a line. Outside, you get the coin, which gets you to get into the thing. Then we're waiting in line. I waited in line because I was already there at that point. I was already pissed. For two and a half hours to get into this place. I can't imagine standing wow, in so line waited, with you for two and a half hours. How long hours. did you wait for the coin? The coin was maybe 
20 minutes. The delay okay. was nothing. But the wait for this thing, and I'm like, what is taking these guys so long? They were actually putting the toys together. I, in the I, think, I think Santa's workshop was working overtime. I don't know what the hell is going on. They're like, there's a lot more right. people out here with these expect right. to put together. So, so get up in this line. And what these guys were doing, like I said, the worst organization I've ever seen. You go into the store. It's all He-Man oriented. So they've got, like, uh, the thing that I thought was cool was a um, Chia Pet Boss Man. Nice. One of the nice. releases. That's cool. Uh, they had, like, foam swords, like the fingers, like the giant yeah. foam fingers. Foam swords. They had the three three quarter inch. They had some t shirts. You know, a bunch of He Man stuff that you know you normally don't see in the stores and may not. But here's the thing: so they're up on shelves. So you have the storefront. They rent out. They stock the shelf of the He Man product, and you go to take something off the shelf. I'm like, no. Like, what do you mean? They've got one or two person people running the register with this line out the door. They go, no. Point to what you want. We will go in back get it for you and hand it to you rather than keep it on the shelf. So the stuff on the shelf was displayed. Well, that's cool, though, because you don't want people, like, fighting over it, jumping up, maybe damaging the product. I, I don't know. For me, that seemed... Cause I think you would have to have more um, more help. Then get, you get more yeah. help. It seems, ex- <laughs> it seems excessive, but I, I understand. Like, more staff. Right. You know, be like, so hey, they had, they had like what do you four, want? What yeah, do you want? Four you know? people in the store with this line. Uh, it was For me, that was asinine. I got what I wanted. And then also, too, you know, the, the fear is they're not going to have it. So you go and you deal with it if you really want to. So something. how many did you get? I only got one because I got, for me, they're, they were $60 for the for the exclusive. And then they had um, muscles. Remember the muscle figures? Yeah. yeah. They had He-Man muscle figures. It was exclusive. Nice. So I picked up. And it was it just He-Man himself or was there other characters No, it's all the other size? characters, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. And it's so. 60 bucks a pop? Holy Damn. Those weren't. The figures were. The um, the He-Man those muscle I'm guy. talking about the three and three quarters. Yeah. The three and three quarters were 60 for, for, it was a pack of four. Oh, okay. Oh, well, awesome. who's in the four? And it's He-Man, Merman, I can't remember. No, uh, Skeletor, Skeletor I and I think the Animal Guy. Oh yeah, because that narrows it down. I don't know. I, I thought they were Beast cool. Man. Yeah, that guy. They so that was so that many was really choices. right. How come there's no man at arms in there? Or an evil Lin, right. or a Shira. Write him a letter. Or what? Tra- tra- they probably need to take four people to yeah. read it. Right. So that was my experience of waiting in a actual toy line. God, so how sick. was the journey back from there back to the convention? Oh, I, we, we were done. I oh, you're was like, I'm done with the convention for the day then? Oh, yeah. We went after the convention was done. For the oh, okay. Day. And also, too, I mean, if you plan... I mean, I was there for five days. We went to the preview night. We went to... And then I was there till Sunday. So preview night was Wednesday night, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I did two days of, of shopping. I mean, that was, that was it for two days. I didn't really get to see the convention because I was running to right. get stuff. And I was helping lines. someone who was a retailer get stuff. That was my day. It wasn't like, hey, let's see what this place... No, it was like, okay, we need to go to this booth. Okay, we need... Okay, we filled up the badge. Okay, now we need to march to the hotel and drop it off. Now we need to come back. I've know? seen said retailer's hotel photos. Yeah, so did I. I was like, yeah. Shit. So... I was wondering. I was like, how did he so, pull all so, this so, off? Yeah, he was so, taking so, selfies with everybody. Now we know. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so he the, had Pat yeah. Mule carry. Well, yeah. but, but, that, but that's it. I mean, so, so part of, the, part of did that... Did you learn how to keister that weekend? <laughs> <laughs> I got I this excuse I Moss Man. I need an adult. Um, so you know. Now before we get off the sure. He-Man figures with the four packs, were they like just, or did they have multiple four packs of different figures? For which, for are you talking He-Man. about three and three quarters? The three and three quarters. Yeah. It was one box. Okay, okay so, so it's that was the it. same characters and all. Exactly. So it wasn't oh, like nice. set A, set B. No. Okay. Well, that's not bad yeah. for sixty bucks then. No. No. I you know, and they had like, the retro packaging like fifteen to pop. Probably like three hundred dollars on eBay. Yeah, and they and they did the retro packaging, so it's like it like looks like a mail order mm-hmm. that you said you'll send away, and then it comes in the cardboard that has the pictures on the outside. So nice. It, it, like you said, it was a cool enough set because I don't really care about He Man, but I looked at it and I said, if I was a kid, back in the I would have loved this, so I need this for my collection. Right. No, it's it's it sounds, it sounds awesome. And the other thing I picked up was the Kiss stage because that was another thing. Yeah, I mean, you talked about that before. Absolutely needed that before. Yeah, that was one thing. So how was it meeting those guys? Because did you meet them or was that just okay? So we're gonna okay because those so pictures, holy, yeah, they from looked the pictures like, they looked like absolute dicks. They were they were tools, absolute tools. So once again, 
Here's what Entertainment Earth does. Entertainment Earth was sponsoring, uh, anyone listening, is the uh, a KISS signing for if you buy a KISS product at this booth called Entertainment Earth, they got a whole new line of stuff. And the toys are really cool. I mean, I'm a fan. So they get KISS to sign whatever. Uh, they, they were cool about that. They'll, you know, they'd sign whatever as long as you, you win a lottery ticket to get in line for them to sign whatever you have. And... I think the the deal was you had to have bought something previous, but they'll sign whatever. Um, now, did you? It was was it like let's say you were gonna get the signature? Was it you got the signature from all of them or only one? No, you get the signature from all of them. Okay. Um, but for a and, and Brian knows I'm a Kiss fan. I mean, I've seen these guys a bunch of times. I've I grew up with them. I'm a huge. So fan. being as a fan, it didn't bother you that it wasn't like Ace Frehley and Peter Chris. No, not so much. It wasn't. No, it no, was just Paul Stanley other. and. You know, and then the other two guys, right? Uh, but, but once again, I've seen them live. I mean, I'm a fan. Wait, I like replacements? The Kiss, what? 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 Well, not the original guys, is what okay. I'm saying. What I don't remember their names. So, but. Um, the line moved pretty quick. I understand it's a machine. Like the Stanley experience. You know it's a machine. Dude, you're shaking his head. I know Brian did it. You know, where it's stand next to Stan, take the picture, move along. You yeah. know, here's don't your talk comment. to Stan. Right. Don't touch Stan. Don't breathe on Stan. Yeah, we don't know. Don't Stan. look at Stan. We don't know Stan's truly alive, but you know, right. if it's Stan or just Stan, a wax figure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he could be stuffed. So it was kind of that. You know, they had these people, and to move the line along, but for like I said, for a for a band that's always been, we're about the fans, we're about the fans. Went up there, had him sign something. Hey, how you doing, guys? How you doing, Gene? These did not look up once. They had their sunglasses on. They weren't talking to the fans. They just signed their shit and moved you along. Now, I I understand that for for Expedia's sakes. Is, I don't know if that's the right phrase. But Maybe move, for the, the size. To expedite things. To expedite, right. To, to move things along. But the line was not that long because you had yeah, to there's buy, no reason to be a dick if someone's no like, are you having a good day? Be like, yeah, we're doing all right, man. Yeah, they were, they were tools. And that was kind of disappointing. Well, it came through in those pictures. It really, they you. really were tools, and I was that was like I said, I'm happy I got to have something signed by Kiss and that they were there because I am a fan. But yeah, that was. Um, does, does that yeah. not now kind of just taint the fandom? Yes, yeah, taint a your bit. fandom a little bit. Like now that you've like input you know, that they were you know just what? dicks, it doesn't take kind of like my CM Punk experience. Yeah, right. totally. You know what? It, it it taints it in the fact it's like you know what? I never have to meet these guys again. But I still like what they produce. I still like going to their shows mm-hmm. because, once again, I'm not going to a show to meet Kiss. I'm going to the show to see the circus. Right, you know? right. And with my buddies to share that experience. Um, if someone were to say, hey. You're there for the theatrics, right, not the dudes. Right, or, or the toys. You know, right, hey, I right. like the designs. I like the comic books. If someone were to say, hey, you want to go Kiss is signing here again, I'd be like, F- that. I don't need that. I don't need to ever have experience waiting in line for them signing ever again. Did they give you a hard time because you took those photos? Because I know a lot of times you you know you're doing some oh no, no photos no, no photos they and... weren't doing anything like that but once again it was the Stanley experience mm-hmm. it was move along it was move along and you know that I did the Stanley experience you know I like Stanley I got myself set but I got it and but you still walked out of there going why the f- did I pay so much money if I you know couldn't so much to say hi to the guy yeah you know right. and I understand that's his handlers too. You know, I understand that whole. I made thing. sure I shook his hand. I was like, I'm not paying you eighty bucks to take a photo and not right. shake this guy's hand. No right. way. I made sure I shook his hand. So, what was he gonna do? Leave me hanging? Right. So, uh, like, don't be a so jerk. yeah, that was that was the kiss one. The kiss was kind of disappointing. Um, Flash Gordon was. Uh, another. He looked like he was into it. I, 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 I met, and again, we're going by your photos. Sure. So. I met I met the uh, uh, Sam Jones actually. I met him two days prior on the floor, and that was more of a thrill than than meeting him. When I was dressed up as Flash Gordon to take the picture, because so, he's like, "Oh, how you doing?" And you know, we took a quick picture, and he wanted to get out of there, but right. took the photo, whatever. He was cool on the floor. Now, here's what they did at Entertainment Earth, and once again, I don't know what the dynamic of things were. Yeah, you know, I'm not working behind the scenes. I'm a fan. I'm in line. I want my ticket. I'm dressed as Flash Gordon because I'm a fan, and we're waiting in line, and either it was Entertainment Earth or it might have been the actors. All of a sudden, the rules of everything were changing. And you're like, well, wait a second. If I had known X, Y, Z, I would have prepped for it. So an example was I have a program from the actual Flash Gordon movie. Mm-hmm. I'm like, Dale Arden's there. Flash Gordon's there. You know, I'm taking a picture. I want the sign so I could frame it. So they go through the line and say, okay, here's the deal. You have to buy something Flash Gordon related. And they're only going to sign Flash Gordon related material. 
unless if you want something else signed, well, that's going to cost you forty dollars. Like, well, if you guys would have said something before two minutes till when everybody's in line and they've right. got their different stuff, and I, I just happened to have the toy with me. I was going to leave it at the hotel. I didn't think twice. I wasn't going to have it signed. I'm like, well, that's kind of crappy. So the deal was, if you have one of the toys, Flash Gordon um, would sign the toy and post for a picture. Dale Arden was, well, if you bring the toy, she'll sign the toy. If you want a picture with her and Flash, she's charging $10. Anything else besides that of hers, she's charging like 40 So I, at that point, it was like, Really, guys, you, you couldn't put this in a memo. You couldn't put this in an email. Hell, you couldn't tell people maybe a half an hour. Sounds before. like Wizard. Well, well, yeah, I, like I said, I haven't had that at Wizard. So that was. Yeah, that's again, not cool, just getting blindsided by. You yeah, know. well, I mean, I, there was a guy who, uh, who was in line for me. He was in from Germany. He was in the Marines. You know, he, this was a big deal for him, too. I mean, he was a fan. So, oh, he saw my program. Where'd you get the program? I'm like, well, this is mine, but these guys are selling it. This guy took, I held the spot in line. He trekked across the continent. I've already said the vastness of this thing to find a guy that had the programs, come back, okay, get back in line, and then they come by and go, oh, by the way, yeah, I'm like, you know, it's going to be 40 bucks if he signs the program. I'm like, really? You so, know? did you get, the, did you end up? I had the toy side. I wasn't going to, I didn't, okay. and also, too, who carries cash? I care. I yeah. do everything on a debit card. Well, I mean, when you go, I, I mean, that's kind of common sense nowadays. When you're getting in line for a signature, you almost always have to have cash. Once again, I, I never had to deal with it before. First time I've ever actually had to shell out cash in line. Usually, I prepaid for something, or uh, or yeah, or debit. I've never had to have cash on hand. Hmm. And a lot of people, I don't think had cash. I had people scrambling, going, "Oh, shit, you know, how do I yeah, make right. this happen?" Uh, and once again, I don't think it would have killed anybody to do this. Hell, give us twenty minutes. You know, at least there are people go, okay, hold my spot in line. Let me hit a cash station if right. you needed to do it. Or should at least put a cash station by the food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I th- or or that would have, sm- have been the smart move. So I thought I thought that was kind of a kind of a dick move, but I you know they were still very friendly when you went up there. You know, I still got a picture with them. I was very happy to get the picture with them. I just didn't like the way. Did that you pay that extra ten bucks? Yeah, I needed to. I, I mean, I, I, and once again, I happen to have the toy. I happen to have the ten dollars. If I didn't have either one of those, I would have been screwed. If you had the forty bucks, would you have paid to have them sign? Of course, no. well, that'd have been eighty, wouldn't it? Though it would have been fifty. Oh. Forty for that, and then yeah, the other ten. Okay, so it wasn't forty per signature. Oh no, it would have been more because she poses for the picture, which was ten, and then another so, so probably probably about seventy. Seventy Damn. would be right. So no. Ouch. No. And once again, it was made up at... at yeah, right, see, that's yeah, the that's... problem. I, like, think that stuff's great and all that. And then, like, like okay, I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan. And my buddy went to New York Comic Con last year. And there's, like, five Game of Thrones actors there. And then we were supposed to do an Indiana Con. And Maisie Williams was there, who plays Arya Stark. And I was like, dude, this is it. It's not my mission to get my first season Game of Thrones DVD signed by all the actors. And then I went to send it to my buddy. Uh, he lives in... Uh, Whatever, it's not important. He doesn't live in New York, but he was going. And I was going to send it to him, and I'm like, man, I'm like, how much does this run? He's like, so-and-so is 50, and this guy is 40, and this guy is like 75, and I was like, well, f*** that. But you knew. <laughs> yeah, you, I knew. But what you get, you had the option before you waited yeah. in line. And but yeah, they should definitely said, like right. warn you ahead of time, because, man... I will say Wizard does a good job with that. You go on their site and they show you who's there, like who's doing autographs, cost, yeah. who's doing photos. Yeah, exactly. And the price and the day they're doing it and everything. And you can buy your tickets in advance. So, so that's good. So yeah, that was that was kind of a downer, but once again, it was still an experience. and An experience that it I, sounds I, like you're not too quick to ever want to repeat. Well, he I just think, said, if, if, yeah. you know, if I don't, it doesn't I don't, go Like back. I said, I, I enjoyed the con. It's a monster con. So if you go... You're seeing, like you said, a con right. on steroids. It's nothing you guys have never seen other than uh-huh. the vastness. Right. Other than everybody being part of the tribe. I've, and- I've always felt like that San Diego was so much like it was a con plus like all this movie and TV shit. And even, but even then, the TV and, and movie shit, what they were doing is, okay, for example, you have the Fox booth. And they're showing trailers of the new shows. But that's right. it. That's all they're okay. doing. Because the celebrities would appear only in the panels. In the panels. And in order to get to a panel, you need to wait like two days in line right, and right. then maybe not get in. 
So if you're there to go, okay, I'm going to see the celebrity stuff, unless you run into somebody randomly, you know, like I did yeah. on the floor. Like your retailer friend did, all those photos he posted, like a yeah. million selfies. Seriously. Um, what was um, the Funko mystery box thing you were posing? <laughs> was that like you went to a party or something for oh, that? Oh, oh, God, I was hoping you weren't going to mention that. Of course um, I was. Okay. Like a bunch of... Uh, okay, nice. the, fun, the Funko Mystery Box. Um, Funko no, first of all, how did you get... Because this was an after party, uh, correct? Dude, you're going to get me in so much trouble. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, like seven people listen. Yeah. So you're not going to get in that much trouble. <laughs> so, the Funko Mystery Box, that was really the highlight of the, um, the convention. Uh, so, to set the stage, just so everyone kind of gets what's going on, I was there with a buddy of mine I haven't seen in about 15 years. And we used to, you know, we, 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 we tore shit up. Um, you know. <laughs> I can't see that. I find that hard. <laughs> so, so we, I, sarcasm. I don't, I wasn't that sarcastic. I wasn't being sarcastic. <laughs> um, I haven't seen him. And he brought his nephew, who had never been to a con or anything ever. Oh, man. Hell of a way to just throw so him into the lines. So, he was having a blast. Right. He was having a good time, because he's never seen anything like this. So... Like I was talking about these exclusive parties. Unless you have an in, you're not getting anywhere. Before you continue, did our retailer friend end up going in? No. Because I thought it was funny. He posts that he was looking for a connection to get into that. And I'm like, yeah, how the hell did Mr. Connection that's, not have a connection to get in there, but Carrie did? That's part of the... I, I want to that's, hear this. That's part of the mythos. I got to hear part this. Part of the, uh, the event. Yeah, so... So, all we can... I was with some retailers, and uh, they wanted to get into this Funko party, and they didn't have any connections. And the bottom line, and the Funko party, just so everyone knows, was not a you know party party. It wasn't let's drink again. It was really employee appreciation. Right. That, that's really what it was. <clears throat> you know, thank you for doing all this work, mm -hmm. and everyone gets free stuff, and blah blah blah. And it happened to be in the hotel I was staying. So we get done with the convention, and we want to unwind. And what was really cool is the hotels all have events going on. So our hotel had Xbox in one of the um, one of the rooms. So you could go. I don't know what the times were, but either during the day or a little after the convention, you could go and play Xbox games. I mean, this whole video game room was set up. Uh, I know some of the other hotels had other things similar, you know, mm -hmm. sponsored by whomever, and you could go do that or panels or whatever so you know we're the 16 year old so we go up and we're going to do the xbox experience and the xbox experience was closing down for the night by the time we got back and right across the way is the fun call party and what's it it's a hotel party it's you know employee appreciation it's, it's like I'll tell you what i think when i think hotel parties well but you know it's it's like a, this particular party like i said it was not a party you know, with the place to be it was like a Christmas party, mm -hmm. you know. All the employees work in Funko, and they're at San Diego, and there was a lot of them. You know, plus one are invited to this thing. So we go up there. And I'm like, you know what? It's here. Let's just go. And we walked. We walked in. We walked in with the crowd. We just found some guys. Said, "Come on." And I, I said, "Just look like you belong." And that's what we did. And we walked right on into the party. And, and the six years old, oh my god, I can't believe we crashed the party. I can't believe we got into the place and your friends couldn't get into. <laughs> so wow. he, was, he was thrilled. So we go in there and like, and you know, it's like, oh, table number so and so for trivia question number one. What is this? And then you answer the question and they win some obscure pop that are only available to the employees. That, that Probably those Freddy Funko pops. Yeah, so, yeah. Sure. yeah, so these these exclusives that are for the employees and that mystery box. And what that was is they have these Funko boxes that they put some random figures in that are only available, I guess, to the employees is my understanding. But everybody's getting them. So to them, it's not a big deal. They work for the company. Right. It's like, oh, you're sitting at the table? Okay, here's your box of whatever. These people are like, you know, like I said, I'm sure they're happy to have them, but most of them are probably like, okay, I've got 12 of these at home. And someone had left a couple boxes just lying in the back, like, eh, screw it, I've already got these or whatever. So we're like, they don't want them. So we walked out with these exclusive Funko mystery pops. And, you know, 
and scored. So this guy's like, oh my God, we broke into a party and we stole shit. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the six year like, this is the best day ever. So that's that's how that kind of rolled around. And then when I ran into uh, my buddy, he's, you know, I told him I got into the party. He's like, how'd you get in? I said, I walked. I said, I learned from the best. Nice. Like, I just walked in, man. You know, so it was, that was really for me the most fun because I got to do something with my buddy. Right. You know, that, and it's something that, you know, the other guys couldn't get into and stuff like that. So there was a little, a little of that. So that was really fun. So that, that's, that's I thought it was like some big extravagant. There was no, there was no Mission Impossible. We yeah, you made it because you're like, oh, that's a hell of a story. So I'm sitting here thinking, oh, I'm, I'm about but, to be blown away. That, <laughs> like, I can't tell you how many times I've walked into something. Like, I don't belong here. I'm just going to walk in and walk out with, like, exclusives and stuff. You disappoint me, sir. Sorry, brother. You have when, to... when have you got to walk yeah, into a party and say... walk out with exclusives, though? Retailer convention, C2E2, when I worked at the comic shop. They got me a retailer badge. There were, as you... you were still supposed to be there, though. You still had a retailer badge. Right, but it's one exclusive per person. You got it as you were walking out, and that was it. So they made sure you were limited. Like, pff, walk right back in. Yeah, but more. You had walk back to in. With. No, they... once you're done and you're mm-hmm. out, that's it. You, you're not supposed to go back in. Go back in, get your free comics. Go He's back in, get your free comics. Just an yeah, no, I okay. Okay. So wrapping up your feelings on this, it was it was a good experience. You know what? I had a good experience. And put it on the bucket list if you're into it and can. My my feeling is this: if if you are going, I, like I said, if you want to experience that many people into the same amount of things that you're into, and you don't mind that many people and spending a whole lot of money like that, check it out. Uh, personally, out of all the cons I've done, I, I mean, if, if as a comic fan, uh, and I kind of know what you guys like, mm-hmm. I think New York is more of an experience because you've got the convention, which is not as big, but it's more manageable, and they have the same kind of stuff. They have exclusives mm-hmm. in New York. They have people promoting you know, their newest and greatest still there. Maybe not as in the amount, as the vastness, but they, it is there. Um, I don't remember if I saw any studio stuff there when I was in New York and then when you're done with the convention you're in New York you know totally. and, and New York gets into it I mean it's in Times Square it's on the buildings you know so they're I mean it's not going to be as intimate as a San Diego because that's how they generate their revenue I mm-hmm. mean everyone's into it and it's San Diego as opposed to New York but one thing that always to- bothered me about San Diego was the exclusives and like how some companies for example Mattel how they hold off on showing upcoming product until San Diego. Isn't that what New York Toy Fair is for? Where it is these toy companies showing up, setting up booths, and it's, from my understanding, New York Toy Fair is not open to the public. It's a media only. Yeah. Correct. Wouldn't you want to like show <clears throat> off your upcoming stuff there as opposed to, well, let's wait till the convention. Like, because like, this year I feel that New York Toy Fair actually was a letdown because you knew like, oh, everything they revealed was just prototype images for stuff we already knew that was announced. Whereas San Diego, you're like, oh, look what's coming out now. And it's like, yeah, that, it's kind of that, backwards, isn't but it? But that's what San Diego has become. Right, right. San, San Diego has become, you know, the, the, the I don't know, the, the media the media hub. It's the, been very the, commercial. Exactly. It's very commercialized, yeah. Uh, so if you're not into the exclusive and all, and all that stuff, just stick to I your hot st- topic in Barnes & Noble yeah, and go to your local, local. con. Because, once again, you're not going to go to San yeah, cause, Diego cause and, find, like, and find, like, deals. You know, you're yeah. not going to find, like, something. That's, like, why I would money. go to a con is to spend money. I'm not as right. heavily concerned about, like, exclusives right. as this guy is. And the, and the only, like I said, the only Max, thing. Max, I got a few. The only thing about San Diego, too. I got a couple. The only thing about San Diego, too, is because of the vastness, though, you may run across something you may never see. Right. I bought up a car. Man, I got a blue Heisenberg coming, so whatever. Yeah, I got a, I got a Kirby print. I got the black and white Jim you Lee know? action figure, the Batman one. I thought that looked like that so I didn't awesome. want it. I thought it looked like crap art. Oh, is that the $400 it. one or something? That's It's like or... 40 bucks I paid. Yeah, I was I was going to pre-order there was a, it from, Okay, there was an exclusive that was... I was going to pre-order it online. It was like 35 bucks, but I yeah, didn't like how it looked. I ended up doing. And now people are selling it for like, you know, double the price or more. Yep. Actually, the place I was going to order from doubled their price since I decided not to order it. So, yeah, my, my that, advice is, once, yeah. once again, if you've got the money and you want to check, check it out. I mean, it's, it's not a bad con. It's just work. It is definitely much more work that you could have put into it than any right. other con. Well, all right. Well, man, we appreciate you taking the time. My to pleasure. Hopefully, talk uh, about that the was super a little, con. Hopefully, that was uh, somewhat informative. Yeah, no, it was, it was, that was good. Yeah, it was it interesting. Was good. It really it was, was good stuff. That it's Funko thing, man, I saw that. I was super jealous. <laughs> so, like, so, was, so, so was the guys that I was with. 
Yeah. Now, did he? Uh, he ended up getting some after all, right? He, he bought. I gave him two of mine. I sold him two of mine. It was part of the agreement for him getting me out there. And how did that come about? I <laughs> did he just call you and be like, "Hey, I've got an extra pass. Pretty Do you want to go?" It, yes and no. I had I, that had, that had come about by. I bet they were talking about it because he was talking about how he wanted to go, but something fell through. What you it, were what, supposed to go out there to work, were you? I was. What was what was going on? Um, was it started out with me? Here's the thing, also with San Diego, when you get these exclusives, usually it's only one per person. So obviously, the more people you have, you get more stuff. Right. Which, as a retailer, yeah, as, as, as we saw in his pictures, right. He got so of- right. So the deal was that I, it started out with, hey, dude, you know, if you need an extra body, and I wasn't serious because I never thought in a million years I was going to be going. Hey, you know, and that was before, like I said, Flash Gordon was showing up. I right. Had, you know, it was. So I said, hey, listen, I've worked a con before, I mean, in a different capacity, but I'm like, listen, if you need an extra body, let me know, and I'll help you, uh, you know, carry stuff. And, you know, like I said, I, I never thought it was going to actually, I was actually going to go. I mean, we joked about it, you know, we'll work, we'll work for con tickets, you know, nice. joking back and forth. And then it turned out, it's like, okay, well, you know, that sounds okay. Uh, tell you what, you know, I happened to get, you know, he got an extra ticket, and my buddy happened to be going with his nephew, and... Flash Gordon was going to be there, so the, right the stars aligned. So, so I, it was I, a lot more. I did, I booked this in two days. Yeah. I didn't know. I I had no. Clue yeah, I remember I, I talked to you and you said you wanted to go, but was the hotel stuff already taken care of when you got your badge, or we was were, that something? That you was had that done? was we were everything was up in the air when I went. Yeah. It's like, well, do we have a hotel? Don't know yet. You know, we've got we've got the badge, and the badge was like, you know, uh, I, I don't know how long that took. That was that was like. A spur of the moment right. thing, and it's like, well, we don't have, we're not sure about the hotel, and it's like, well, I have faith that we're gonna get a hotel room and we'll make something happen. If not, I got a sleeping yeah. bag. You know, and, <laughs> well, it's uh, good stuff, man. Thanks for uh, joining us here and talking my about pleasure, your experience. Man. It's been a while. Uh, as always, <laughs> everything we do, your comics remix, Facebook, Junior, Brian, Alex, the tour reviewer at Comics Remix. With your com. questions. Whatever. Join us back here next week when we'll be talking more comics. And uh, the lockup Mondays. That's really hell, man. I, I'm, You're not going to throw in your petition? I'm all plugged out. Oh, yeah. JDF versus CM Punk. Click the link below. Sign the petition. Share it. Going to keep this going until he gets signed for a fight in the UFC. Because that's how it is. And that's Word. the bottom line. Because Big B said so how long were you itching to say that i don't know it just that just naturally just, just came just just yeah, i'm just itchy you know it's the crabs <laughs> we'll see y'all next week peace <laughs>